I want to do a podcast or even a live stream video or even just a video going more into the landing on the moon being faked or hoax but looking at it from a point of view of that being a distraction that we actually did go to the moon and that the hoax was deliberately put out as a way of getting people not to notice the conspiracy of hidden bases or structures that were found on the moon by the Apollo 11 astronauts when they landed there. I've even heard videos or suggestions that something up there turned them away and told them not to come back. And that's the real reason why we haven't gone back to the moon that we know of. If that's the case, who or what turned them away in the first place? So this is to assume that there are extraterrestrials on the moon that are not native to the earth. But who are they? What are they up to? And how long have they even been up there? Is that their way of observing us from a distance that we can't see them? There's even been suggestions that they're mining the moon. And even that the moon itself is hollow. And these are all very interesting perspectives. Maybe they're all true, maybe they're all connected. but I need to do some research on this. I saw in the video, shout out to the What If Files on YouTube, where he talked about a Carl Wolf who was in charge of fixing faulty photograph machinery, I guess that was used to develop the film, and actually saw these images and said he was even willing to go under oath testify that what he saw was the truth and that he mysteriously was killed in a car accident before the trial could happen which seems to happen a lot with these I guess whistleblower type people which actually gives me more benefit of the doubt that maybe this was a real thing that actually happened so I want to dive deeper into this Now, why would you want to even suggest that the moon landing was a hoax in the first place? Other than being a distraction from what's actually being found up there, if if you were in their shoes, what would you prefer? People would think that the moon landing was fake, and that's seen as conspiracy, or people finding out the truth that there are things going on up there beyond just domes and buildings and structures and whatnot. I think they'd prefer the first option. Because they can still discredit anybody who wants to say it was all hoaxed in a way. While the evidence can support both points of view of it being hoaxed or real, because now they're saying we can't even leave the Earth, it's a closed system, because of the Van Allen radiation belts, that we don't have the technology to get through it, but yet, if we really did go to the moon, we did, so which is it? Or is the Van Allen radiation belt something made up to scare us from going out there and looking ourselves? I don't know. I don't have any way of actually getting any scientific readings myself to find out. I mean, what we're told, what we're taught, is all we know. We don't have any first-hand experience with these things, only what they tell us. And if it is a lie, all we know is what they tell us. So, is space a vacuum? Is there no atmosphere, no air? I don't know. I have my own theories. Like they say, sound can't travel in space because it's a vacuum, there's no air. But yet they can record sounds from other planets. 
they say that the temperature in space is below freezing, like absolute zero temperatures. But yet, when a comet enters our solar system, it begins to melt somehow when it's below freezing. And that's what causes the tail of a comet to appear. But yet, if it's below absolute zero in space, it wouldn't melt in the first place because there's no heat in space. So, which is it? I don't know. These are the questions we want answers to. And when we get those answers, that's something I'm still working on. So I'm doing this audio recording as I'm driving to work. And I want to do an actual more straightforward podcast of this once I get some time. So most of this is just my thoughts to myself. But I probably will go ahead and share them with you so you can help me think it through or talk it through. If you are listening and I have published this, let me know what you think. What are your thoughts and views? Do you know of any truths to either side of the story per se? And I do apologize for any background noise. Like I said, I am driving to work. My car does have some pretty noisy road noise. But hopefully I'm coming through clearly. I haven't heard this video. I'm sorry. I haven't heard this audio yet. So I don't know how it sounds until I publish it. But anyways, I digress. So, can we really trust NASA in the first place? I've seen videos that also stated that the images from the rover on Mars were altered and they were able to revert them back to their original state and it looked basically like Earth. Blue skies and colorful backgrounds. But when they released it to us, you know, it's got that stereotypical Mars red sky with the gray crown. So it, it makes you even wonder if we can't get to the moon, how did we get to Mars? Even if it's just an unmanned rover driving around taking pictures and video. It makes you wonder about a lot of things when it comes to the space program. I mean, we've all seen those videos of what looks like the astronauts in the International Space Station that are supposedly showing evidence of green screen and wires so they can basically make artificial anti-gravity looking environments that are like floating and such. I mean, until we can actually go up there ourselves and see it with our own eyes, everything is just what we're told, what we're shown. But we all know videos and photographs can be so easily manipulated these days. And they have been for years now. And now that we have AI involved, it's even trickier to tell what's real and what's been faked. Like a lot of these images from space showing the Earth, supposedly, it's not even really a picture, it's a composite of the Earth. They say we don't have any actual photos of the Earth from space other than low Earth orbit, where the satellites and such are said to be. And why are there so many limitations? Like, people have drones, but legally you can't fly it over 420 feet. I mean, I get it. There's other aircraft to step up there they don't want you to risk running into. Also, the limited battery life, which may be deliberate, also keeps us from going up there and getting better pictures and video from higher up. You know, to prove the curvitation of the Earth and all that good stuff. I don't want to get so much into the flat Earth theory in this podcast, but I do want to touch on it in a future one. For now, let's continue down the rabbit hole of why this podcast is being made in the first place. The dark side of the moon, for example, and again, how the moon is always facing us. It doesn't rotate because it's in such a perfect, what's the word I'm looking for, synchronistical rotation that we only see one view of the the moon, which is kind of odd. Even though there are supposed pictures from the dark side of the moon that they tell us very little about, actually. And that's said to be where most of these bases are hidden. If that's the case, how can we, we can't even use powerful telescopes from down here on Earth to see them. 
even our most powerful telescopes that we're allowed to buy as far as commercially or individually can't see that close to the moon not even close enough to see the flag supposedly that's up there it's all very convenient not to mention we get the atmospheric disturbances that won't let us get a good clear sharp image of the moon the more we zoom into it I mean I would love to be able to get a powerful telescope I mean, right now my budget I don't have the the means or the money to do that so I can only look at it through the more lower end telescope I do have I do got to get some filters and stuff for the for moon viewing because that moon is bright and that's another question I've heard as well is the moon reflecting the sun's lights or in other perspectives does the moon give off its own lights that's definitely a topic for another video but it makes you think that there is way more to the moon to space in general than meets the eye now kind of start babbling on here because I'm running out of things to say as I'm driving so I don't have any hard facts to give you here so I'm not going to ramble on much longer because I drive to work here <clears throat> but I did want to start putting some stuff out there for me to listen to later and follow up on in my actual podcast I'm going to do I may just include inserts from this audio but hopefully it's coming out decently enough with all the background noise in the podcast itself. I'm also going to plan to do a live stream with my buddy Mr. JB333 discussing uh, the conspiracy of the moon. He's really good at coming up with these facts and sources and I'm more from my point of view speak from my own ideologies and ideas but I'm going to try and also get some good facts as well to include. So I'm going to start wrapping up if you are listening to this on the podcast, thanks for listening. Definitely leave some comments. Check out the other podcasts as well. I'll leave a link in the description to my YouTube channel where the live stream will stream from. And my podcast will also be linked to my YouTube channel under the podcast section. So go check all that stuff out. If you haven't already while you're there, hit up that subscribe button. Give it a like. Give it a comment. That all helps the podcast and videos and live streams get out to a wider audience which will then help me in the long run as well thanks again for listening and i will catch you guys in the actual podcast catch you later